So why are Michael Moore, Bernie Sanders, Jeremy Corbyn in the UK, all the people who said Venezuela is a great thing, a great experiment, yeah. why are they not run out of the public square and tr throwing with tomatoes everywhere they go? The, you have children bleeding to death in hospital beds. You have people starving. Uh, again, they shoot into crowds when people try to protest. And to have anyone who's an apologist for this not take responsibility for it and still be given a microphone, I think, is disgraceful. Yeah, yeah. you're absolutely right. And it's only getting worse and worse and worse. It's actually getting exponentially worse as inflation rises and the poorest people people uh, there are the ones who can't afford to feed their kids. They never had to treat malnutrition five years ago. And now that condition has gone up 100 fold in hospitals that literally have no doctors. So what do we do? Do we do anything as the United States? Well, there's, again, limited tools in our toolkit to deal with this particular situation. We're not going to invade Venezuela. Nor and should we? And, well, we shouldn't. And, and sanctions are something that we have to be delicate with as well, because we want to target the elite in that country who are abusing and starving their people without then actually hurting the people who live in that country and are not able to leave, like we were mentioning the doctors and everyone who are able to flee. Um, you know, the oil country, uh, oil industry in that country runs uh, basically the only leftover economy that's there, but it only benefits the wealthy. Yeah, that's um, absolutely right. And, and, and that's what they did. I mean, it is a, a state run industry. They've got so much oil, which was great, and they were very profitable when oil prices were high, but, but when they tanked. This is Atlas Shrug come to life. This is exactly the yeah. product of Atlas Shrug. Take yeah. a successful business, have the government running, and then see how long it takes for people to be starving yeah, and, and eating animals. And, you know, when Atlas shrugs, that's when the people who were holding up the economy exactly. They leave. They're, right. they're exhausted. And it's the poor and the weak who are the first to suffer. That's absolutely right. Yeah. And, and suffer the longest. That, that McCarthy, if you want a friend, get a dog. And although Kevin McCarthy and Paul Ryan have been very close for the mm -hmm. last couple of years, not only just in leadership, but as uh, Paul Ryan came up through the ranks in the House and the mm -hmm. Ways and Means Committee, um, I doubt that, that, that McCarthy's going to actually push Paul Ryan out. And will Jim Jordan get the job? No, I mean, money, money talks. Paul Ryan brought in $11.9 right. just in the yeah, first that's why Nancy quarter Pelosi's for Republicans. Still around. So, yeah, put up or shut up. Every Everybody else who wants that job. They're not going to move him out as long as they need to raise money for these midterm elections, which are going to be contentious. Mm -hmm. I also would like to see Paul Ryan finish out this job because we right. need we, we need him to finish and have a legitimate no, open open run election. No, Kevin don't. McCarthy don't cannot be coordinated on, for this. Yeah, Nobody really wants him I in the Republican. Uh, is there a benefit yeah. to chaos? No. Well, I, I mean, look at the last yeah. Republican speakers. You have the ambassador of the Vatican's wife, you have this lobster who's selling marijuana. Dennis Hastert, I can't even discuss him okay, on air. Yeah. And now we have the guy who <laughs> Romney made it his beta. So this is just <laughs> quite a cast wow, of characters yeah. and losers. He is his yeah. Robin. Yes. Yeah, he really is. I love Paul Rhino. Yeah. I love